So are we doing a conversation between you and I or am I looking into the camera? Hi, I'm from the United States. So I was a journalist for 30 years, um, covering mostly conflict zones, and I do a little bit of everything. I shoot video, I write stories, both long form and short form, even books. And right now what I'm doing is, is helping out with the Empower You program, which is something that happens on the campus on the weekends here at the University of Hong Kong. Some weekends, uh, domestic workers come from all over the city, and they take classes and everything from business to law and sometimes media studies. So today what I was doing was uh, giving them some pointers on photography. And the reason being is that um, they have such fascinating stories and they've had to make such sacrifices to be here. Very often the families don't know what they go through. So we want them to be able to tell their stories, to, to take imagery that reflects all of the reality that they, they experience here. Not just the times when they're good, but the times when they're, they're difficult as well. Uh, I learned from my friend Dr. Mike. He told me about it. Um, we went to lunch one day, he told me what he was doing. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, one of the things that we see here uh, in Hong Kong is that, you know, by and large, domestic workers are displaced. They have to live in their employer's household, and so very often they have no space of their own. Uh, the University of Hong Kong, like all institutions of higher learning, should be a refuge for people so they can come here, they can learn, they can feel at home in a place like this, and that, that's what we're hoping is happening here. Not that they're just learning something, but they're also coming to this environment saying, hey, this is home away from home, or this is home in Hong Kong for us. Um, I love that this is only the second time that I've, I've spoken to uh, domestic workers here as part of Empower You. Uh, it's fantastic, it's really incredibly enriching because they, they're so engaged, even if someone's shy, you put a microphone in front of their face, you ask them to, to explain why they took that photograph, they're really ready to tell their story. And in some cases, uh, much more engaged than my own students. My students can be somewhat quiet and, and shy. The students here, um, I think they're, they're really grateful to be here, happy to be here, and, and you see it in their work, and you see it in their, their experience. And so while I hope it's fun for them, it's much more fun for me. Uh, what we taught them today was just the basics of photography. Um, we don't want to make anything too technical because I think the camera is really an impediment to a real conversation with people. We try to make the camera disappear. So in some ways, we just tell them the, the very basics. Um, what is it that you're shooting? Where is your subject? Uh, where is your light source? Is it behind you or in front of you? Um, how long should we expose the shot? And then also how to compose it. Um, where should the subject be in the frame? Those really simple things. And I teach them those things, but then I also say very quickly, dispose of them if you want to. You can use them or you don't. All I want you to do is have fun. Take the picture that you feel best reflects who you are. Long hair. <laughs> Afghanistan. Portrait. Black and white. Chocolate. Beach, always. Backpack. Learning. You can explain. Oh. Um, printed means permanent, and I think you have to commit to something sometimes.